Hey everybody, Christy up North Air Gunner. So today is the day I get to finally tell you about this and show you in full detail about what we've been testing with FX Air Guns is the new 35 caliber tension barrel, 800 millimeter slug barrel kit. And I'll tell you what, this thing is shooting groups like this. and sub MOA groups at 100 with the hybrids. And I also have been testing these 81 grain Pro Slug solids. So the barrel development that FX has put forth with this in order to be able to shoot slugs accurately is they've actually created a, a twist rate in the new barrel system. That's a one in 24 twist rate as compared to the pellet uh, barrel that was originally launched with the 35 cal impact, which is a one in 25 twist rate. But one of the cool things that they did with the power block is on the transfer port, the brass part of the barrel system, they've gone down to a single O-ring and now there's an O-ring inside the power block. And what this does is it allows that, um, that, that transfer port to be able to push deeper into the power block, which allows the slug to seat deeper into the lands, getting it centered into that barrel system. And it's creating some crazy good accuracy. This thing is pushing really close to something that I would take a deer with. So I've been testing this thing ever since uh, earlier this summer when we went out to the lethal air hunt in West Virginia. We were able to take this ram double lung shot with these exact same solid slugs and that ram went right down. And this ram is about the size, I would say like a small to medium sized deer. And I'll tell you what, with the proper shot placement, and that is the key about these FX air gun technologies is the precision that you're getting from this big board. I'm calling this a big board, it's a 35 caliber. The precision you're getting is absolutely insane. So they have gotten this completely right. They took a lot of time to get this right. Now I learned a lot of lessons though about the importance of slug selection though and the importance of penetration with big bore air guns. And this applies 100%. If you choose to use the FX Impact M3 and 35 caliber done, depending on your state laws here in Michigan, you can hunt deer with air guns, uh, PCP air guns, 35 caliber and higher. Now the critical aspect of this is we were using solids. We were not using hollow points. And I cannot emphasize this enough. If you're using the FX Impact M3 for deer hunting, go with a solid. For small to medium sized game, the FX hybrids are absolutely perfect in 35 caliber because what they're doing is they're just dumping all of that energy just within a matter of inches of penetration. So this is great for small game, medium sized game, coyotes, porcupines. It's, it's just massively dumping this energy. So I take my deer hunting, I take my deer camp very seriously. And we had a big problem this year of uh, coyotes and raccoons and porcupines getting into our stands. The porcupines were chewing them up. So we went on a porcupine hunt and I'm using the AGM Rattler clip-on with the backbone rail from Utah Air Guns. So this right here is the tool for the job. And I'll tell you what, this is basically opens up a whole new realm of hunting and pesting in your arsenal. And what I love most about this is the fact that I can run it with this backbone rail from Utah Air Guns with a thermal on the front. And you can do this with either this backbone rail or the uh, Sabre Tactical TRS system. I love them both, they're absolutely great. There's some feature differences between um, the two of them I wanna point out real quick. On this backbone rail system, check this out. When you go uh, and cock your uh, cocking handle to the rear, there's a little detent in here that's stopping that from falling forward. So typically with the FX impact, when you um, pull it back like that, sometimes it can just fall forward. So um, especially from a safety perspective, if you're on the range and you need to have your bolt open into the rear, having the ability for that handle to stay back like that is a really great feature. And there's really not a lot of uh, pressure difference there. I mean, it's just a little bit of a detent, see that? Now you're cocked and ready to go. So I reached out to Justin at Utah Air Guns. I asked him like, what is the ultimate uh, tripod to be doing this kind of, um, you know, hunting at night from a standing position. So this uh, Pro 39 is the one he recommended. I absolutely love this thing. It has a quick detach here. It can either uh, clip into your Arca and or Picatinny. So um, if you got Arca Swiss here with the uh, Sabre Tactical extended rail, 
or if it's just the regular um, FX M3 Picatinny rail. So the other thing I love about this is just in a matter of seconds, you can just unclip this from the rail, pull that off, check this out. Now I've got a handheld. So now as I'm walking into my hunting position, I can now scan the area, make sure I'm not bumping any deer on the way in. And the resolution on this is fantastic. This 384 uh, resolution is great. So I tell you what, if you're a deer hunter, it's important to protect that deer hunting property that you have. Make sure you clear out a lot of those critters. The coyotes are gonna be running off the fawns, eating the fawns. Porcupines are gonna be eating up your stands and potentially your cabin like they were here at our deer camp. Defend deer camp. So we got porcupines chewing through the bottoms of this OSB, this old wood we've got here. They're just chewing up the entire foundation bottom of our blind. So we're gonna do some uh, porcupine management. And uh, yeah, defending the food plots, baby. Check out the energy transfer on this porcupine. I set up uh, right outside that blind and this porcupine came in super slow, put the crosshairs right on his chest. <laughs> Smoked him. And it just dumped all 150 foot pounds of energy into it, shot all kinds of porcupine quills out the backside, dropped him right where he was, absolutely massive that's one less porcupine to worry about so definitely check out the new fx air guns barrel kit for the 35 cal this right here is now the most precise big bore air gun that i have in my collection at 190 foot pounds of energy with that tungsten hammer at a higher pressure that's just a quick look at this 35 i'm gonna be running this on a couple different uh, hunts but uh, that's a good first look at the new rifle barrel system the new tension 800 millimeter barrel system you're getting a little bit more uh, power and energy from the additional 100 millimeters of barrel as compared to the 700 so definitely check these out at utah air guns thanks for joining me see you in the woods <laughs> smoked them <laughs>